had mm, a yeah, yeah. wall. Um, but but uh, that, compared to other like uh, similar sided games, I think that one is. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't actually remember that well. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if uh, if the toughness keeps ramping up. I kind of hope so because you know, if you're two, you're, I re I really enjoy like tough games if you have someone to play them with. It's yeah. It's a oh, punishment. Jonas, I've got one favor to ask you: is uh, can you edit one of my powers? Uh, all right, which one? It's a uh, brass strike. It's supposed to have plus four damage because of my con modifier now. Okay. And you can't do this yourself? I don't know if I can. Okay, well, let's take a look. Plus four, you say? Yeah, because it's my card and it's now plus four. Okay, there we go. That should Thank be you it. Alright, is everyone updated? Uh, one moment. Have you increased your HP and your surge value? Have you picked a feat? Have you increased yes. your defenses one step? Yes, I'm just one one minute control. before the session starts is the right time to pick a feed, I feel. <laughs> yes. jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I pick improved initiative. Shit, I already have that. I, uh... <laughs> Toughness. Toughness, yes. Toughness, yes. Five hit points. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> there you go. Toughness is very decent on that scale, so... I got... Bludgeoning mastery. All right. Master uh, bludgeon. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. I get push on every attack I do with a mace plus one attack. That's gonna oh, be yeah. so annoying after a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, push, push, push! Oh god damn it! But it's very good. It it gives you that effect. It also increases your accuracy, and accuracy is what you want basically. When and it scales as well. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. I encourage everyone to take oh, whatever. Mastery feat uh, you prefer, but let have have at least one. It's a very good choice. Yeah, that's, that's what I did for my feat. So my healing surge value should be higher. Hmm. Yes, it should Ed, be higher. Did we split the loot that we got last session? No. No. It's still hmm. a huge pile. Sometime yeah, before last, this session would have also been a good time to ask. <laughs> <laughs> <M -W>. <laughs> <laughs> and there's some stuff we haven't identified yet. Yeah, it's, you have a, you have a pile of stuff. Like the orb and the sword and something else I don't really remember. <laughs> yeah, and huge and a huge pile of cash. Yeah, hasn't been split up. Which I imagine everything is on is on uh, the floating Jafar. <laughs> of course. Well, it was it was Roldar, then the loot on top of Roldar on top of Jafar. <laughs> so, so, yeah, it, he won't exist forever, you know. We got about another, perhaps, uh, depending on how long we rested, twelve, fourteen hours with him before he vanishes, and I can't do that again. Unless uh, some of the uh, material components down there within Vistle Top are actually, uh, you know, I can actually use those. Well, I need 10 gold pieces worth of random bullshit to remake Jafar. You know, a, a <laughs> parrot feather, a, a turban, mm -hmm. a sneer, the distilled <laughs> essence of a, a sneer. sneer. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, a, uh, a broken piece of mirror with a sneer on it. Uh, what's actually thinking, Grim? Is there any um, rituals you plan on taking in the future? Like, any sp specific rituals you plan on taking? Uh, there are so many of them, and they've changed throughout the various errata, such that the ones in the player's handbook have been completely flipped with their levels, but uh, I, I do have some in mind. Uh, I will get two for free whenever I... Uh, Ever I uh, level up to level 5 or level 6, and I know what I'm thinking about. Why? Is there something in particular you had in mind? Uh, I was thinking about uh, picking that feat myself, so... Uh... Oh, see, I get it for free, courtesy of the fact that I'm a wizard. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Let me just pop my collar Yes, I know. <laughs> and you're, yeah, you're, I was you're... just wondering so that uh, we don't pick the same ones if we, I actually pick it. But uh, we can deal with that later when uh, I actually gonna pick that one. That's right. If uh, you want to use one of your sorcerer feats on that to try to compensate for your deficiencies, then by, uh, we mm. certainly talk <laughs> shop later. <laughs> mm, I, I, I don't know how to feel about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel very insulted. The arcana impaired. <laughs> yes, the arcana impaired indeed. <laughs> 
<laughs> I do not agree. <laughs> well, of course you wouldn't, also. I'm just different. <laughs> I have the power of a dragon flowing through my veins. <laughs> my powers are just more personal than yours. I can make Jafar. <laughs> that is a good argument, but mm, <laughs> still, Jafar is displaced. I'm a dragon. <laughs> Jafar just wait, someday he will multi-class into wizard. <laughs> he picks the multi-class wizard. You gain training in Arcana. Well, fuck it, I'm still a wizard. <laughs> Woo! Wizard. Uh, All my dreams come true. Uh, let's see here. All right. Everything yeah. seems to be in order. Have uh, Have you increased hit points on Salora? I edited my token using my framework, and I just dropped the Diva Wizard 4. I'm good to go. All right, then. Then uh, let us start, I suppose. The, the, the only have, thing uh, that would be problematic is that I would need the DM to set my resistances because player resistances aren't good enough. <laughs> God damn it, these resistances. Uh, we don't have ownership over your token, I don't. Silly, silly framework. Well, uh, I would hope you wouldn't have ownership over my <laughs> <laughs> Um, Shouldn't we? <laughs> well, he is my character. Um, that's... I, Let's I, see I, here. The next Such thing you know, he'll, they'll be wanting ownership over Jafar, too. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you I have, want to move Jafar. You, you still have your resistances, as far as I see. Oh, ah, maybe it'll stay. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yes. All right. Well, let's let's get this show on the road, I suppose. Okay. Mm. So, yeah. Last uh, last session. Horrible things happened beneath, uh, beneath uh, Thistletop. Last session, we actually breached uh, the Thistletop Wooden Palisade keep area proper. We uh, we killed some uh, goblins, and then Roldar decided that, for whatever reason, he would try diplomacy, since apparently these goblins are stupider than anyone he ever hung out with back in the day. And Roldar was like, eh, we'll give it a whirl. As it turns out, Rip Nugget, despite being the war chief here at Thistletop, still thought that uh, Roldar was a goblin. And uh, there was a brief befriending moment as we got closer and closer, and then we struck and smote <laughs> the goblins. And uh, except for one, except for one, who rose to become glorious war chief Toothy himself. And, Hail Toothy! And then led his entourage down beneath Thistletop to claim his winches and cast down the mother. Uh, unfortunately, uh. Bethasmus, uh, used a bow, Toothy was not prepared for this bow, and, uh, Toothy was brought low. <laughs> the king is dead, long live the king! <laughs> <laughs> so we killed the bugbear, and the winches, destroyed an Iron Maiden, and some paintings. Uh, this was a haze since I stepped away, but there was a moment in which, uh, some members of the party were do-gooders and talk with people who were not do-gooders and we had to cast them down as well. Lots of evil down there in Thistletop and New Alia, she was gonna go in one of those James Bond villain speeches. We brought her down too. She, she... Eventually. She, it, it took a long time. M mistakes were made, but in all honesty, <laughs> it was a five-on-one. It's really her fault if she knew that we were coming, really. She just surrounded herself with friends. But she didn't have any, because she's a vengeful bitch. She was! Now she's dead! <laughs> Unfortunately, Roldar nearly died in the process, and any sort of sweeping or looting or research or, you know, purifying this realm had to wait until this, this session. Uh, and we end up waking up after our extended rest, finding some sort of protected alcove within the forest away from the goblin tracks and in paths and, you know, perhaps a, a little clearing away from the brambles as well, so that hopefully, hopefully we can return and make things right. And, uh, oh. give glorious War Chief Toothy the proper burial. <laughs> <laughs> the statesman burial. That's right. Full military <laughs> honors. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yes, his reign was too short, to be sure. Just like him. Speaking of mistakes, I still don't have any crossbow bolts. Oh yeah. Mm. Uh, Aaron, give you some. 
Yo, I, I offered to give you some, because I have something with that axe. So. Well, I do need session. some. Yes. Then you can go ahead, I have 20 in my bag, so take them. Oh, that would be excellent. Otherwise, I have to punch people, which isn't exactly effective. You used a sword. <laughs> what happened to that? Uh, yeah, I could use a dagger, but it, uh... <laughs> it ran out of ammo too. <laughs> you landed the killing blow on New Alia, man. Come on. No. I, I I flanked her for you. <laughs> she was totally distracted by my incredible power. Oh, of course. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, the session starts uh, when the party. Supposedly returns to the uh, entrance to the goblin uh, goblin area of Thistletop. And Jafar is still following. Yep. And uh, the party is now well rested from having slept in the forest. Uh, the uh, the sleep in the forest was uh, rather uneventful. Uh, from time to time, you heard something in the distance that could perhaps have been a goblin, but nothing approached. Um, it has been uh, even like wildlife and birds and. Small animals seems to have been kept away. Uh, reason unknown. Um, perhaps you heard some faint activity far away, close to the Thistletop, but nothing that uh, you really could make out what was happening. Perhaps some goblin escaped. Perhaps some looting was taking place. It is hard to say. But uh, sooner or later, the party finds its way back to the Thistletop uh, fortress. And that is where we begin. All right, remain right. cautious during our approach. There's no telling what goblin patrols Rip Nugget may have sent out and what returned while we were away. We should assume the possibility that this entire area is restocked with goblins. Um, oh, well, this should be easier. Uh, this should time. We maybe, should we maybe identify a few things before we head off? Uh, n no. Do you think the fortress is just going to sit there peacefully for us? No, I... Yes. <laughs> the fortress itself, yeah, but the... Um... If, you, if you wanted to study items, that should have been done during the night. Not when it's time to go back into the depths once more. I guess, but I needed to sleep. Well, there's always next time. I was thinking about the orb. Maybe it would be useful then, yeah. Open! Du -du 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 -du. <clears throat> yes, uh, entering uh, entering the forest tunnels again. Let's see here. Uh, Alvin notices that there seems to be actually some fresh tracks on the ground. What, uh, what kind of tracks? Well, uh, it's hard to say. It seems like small humanoid feet. Possibly goblins. Alvin will stop the party and say... There seem to be goblin tracks here, fresh. Uh, we might not be alone. Well, well of course mm. not. I, I did say the warning that we should assume that this place is entirely restocked with goblins. It's only natural that no one would listen to me, though. Uh, I remember also the goblin world saying that uh, more people would be coming. So, yes. Shall we head straight there? Or check her out. No, no let's not dally. Up. Let's not dally further in the brambles anymore. Thistletop is what's most important. Uh, where does the tracks lead? Uh, they seem to lead. Uh, one set of tracks seems to lead towards Thistletop. The other one out into the forest. Right. Slowly walking through the brambles, uh, everything seems calm and quiet. <laughs> Coming up on the huge pile of goblins here. A smell of lots of goblin blood. <laughs> yes. And burning. And charred, smoky smell. Probably faded for by now, but you know, it's still there. Yeah. <laughs> Still there, still strong, still rancid. Uh, approaching uh, Thistletop itself, it seems that the doors are uh, still open. No one seems to have been bothered to close them if there's anyone inside. Um, 
Upon entering the old hallway with the, with the ghastly trophies, Roldar notices that there seems to be uh, blood coming from the opening door to the, uh, to the pickle storage. Roldar turns his head, looks at the group, points his warhammer over at the door. I imagine that the royal pickles were uh, quite the bounty for whatever goblin was able to secure them. Well, better not have any surprises, just to look. Um, Salor's guess turns uh, out to be quite accurate, Roller believes, when he looks in and sees two goblins dead on the floor. They seem to have been stabbed uh, each other to death, and they are basically drenched in pickle juice. Uh, <laughs> and there are a lot of thrown-around pickles inside here, some half-eaten, some stomped on. Uh, seems to have been quite a fierce battle. Yeah, Roller just looks at this for a while, snorts, and just sort of turns back, not making a word. Just dead. All right. Here's what we should do first, then. There are remaining areas of this palisade that we have not yet swept. To our knowledge, that there are, there are no other escapes beyond that staircase that we ourselves went down and came back up. To uh, ensure security, we should first sweep out through here before proceeding down further. I agree. It sounds like a, sounds like a good idea. Mm, of course. <clears throat> Part of goblins. Indeed, more goblins. Um, as Erwin uh, approaches the small door, uh, he seems to, from the other side of it, hear some sort of, uh, well, some sort of fighting, perhaps, or screaming, or well, some sort of tumult, basically, on the other side. It seems the goblins to be quite agitated about something on the other side of this door. The goblins do not seem to be in the best mood. They seem to be preoccupied with something in there. Really? Not in the best mood? Their war chief is dead? People they may have called comrades are dead, and the pickles are gone. This whole place is a shamble. And that is why they're not in a good mood. Well, there's one way to deal with it. Let them to themselves, or sort them out now. Solora will uh, use ghost sound here on the other side of the door. And say, My pickles! My pickles! Damn my pickles! <laughs> Roldar readies himself, getting a good good atmosphere for us. <laughs> now. Can I stand in this square or not? Uh, it's a bit tight. Especially with uh, the large frame of Roldar standing right there. He takes up more space than normal. Uh, it seems the although the call was quite taunting. Uh, it seems to garner no reaction for from whatever goblin are behind the door. So Laura says, they must be very involved and distracted then to not be lured by pickles. I think we should uh, intrude ourselves. Yes, a perfect opportunity to attack. Evan just looks up at Roldar. Go ahead. Uh, Roldar. Reels back, slams his foot. Since his hands are busy wielding the warhammer, or oh, the, the dynamic weapon shaped as a warhammer, and a shield, he boots the door. All right, the door flies open and reveals to the party what seems to be some sort of courtyard. <clears throat> it is littered with, uh, with refuse and you know, whatever a goblin would throw away. Um, more, um, more fetching for the eyes, or catching for the eyes, is the apparent battle the goblin seems to to be fighting against a huge war horse um, that seems to be quite hurt and quite desperate in its fight. Uh, before it lay three dead goblins, the other ones are, are sort of trying to attack it but being pushed back by the ferocity of the animal. And they're all sort of dancing around it, uh, shrieking in shrill voices um, uh, at the beast, sort of trying to taunt it out or try to um, try to kill it. Uh, it seems like uh, this uh, was a door that is now sort of open. It's it's slammed open, like over here. 
Uh, so the horse seems to be able to leave his sort of confined area, but uh, well, the goblins are blocking his escape. They are looking at him with evil little eyes and waving their their goblin knives. <laughs> oh, you big evil beast! I will get you. <laughs> does Roldar do his standard approach that he does in most goblin encounters, Griff? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I right, see. We shall go to initiative then. Uh, I was just waiting to see what would happen. It's yeah. like, okay, come on. <laughs> Oops, I accidentally added Jafar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Jafar has no initiative. That's right. He should be removed. He, he, he moves when I go. The plus two paid off. I guess it did. <laughs> Aronos is the first one uh, to act in the surprise round. Is that... How many times have you actually won an issue? <laughs> uh, I think um, three times, okay. and I have the lowest initiative. <laughs> Has, does Roller have plus zero to initiative? Uh, I think I we talked about this before, plus, actually. I should have plus three, plus one from the armor, plus two from level four. Yeah. Uh, in that case, that wasn't factored in then, so he should have a twenty-three. Oh, am I just rolling? How do you guys know what I'm rolling? Uh, I can see on the token that you have a so We, we can see on your token that you have a plus zero initiative modifier. Oh, because I've got... I'm level four, so I should have plus two, and I've got the armor, the chest plate, so that's plus three, so yeah, I should I, I think have... I think you have to add the initiative manually all the time. Uh, At I, least I do. I, I don't. Uh, okay, I have to. <laughs> hmm, that is, that is interesting, yes. Uh, I'll see what I can if I can edit that into my character sheet. All, all of our uh, tokens have different quirks about them. Erevan yeah. can't have his hits displayed. Roller's initiative gets fucked up. My resistances go to hell. <laughs> it's it's weird though because uh, we tested out actually Erevan's token before and it worked perfectly. So yeah. uh, we'll see now if it's broken again. I, I don't know what it is. It's it's some kind of sorcery. Yeah. Uh, so can You're I see this guy? <laughs> you and your story. So, <laughs> <laughs> can I get, can I get a plus fault. three on that to bring me up to 22 then? <laughs> or 21.9 or something? Same. I'm the same place anyway, so... <laughs> yeah. You, uh, for this, we, you will remain in the same place. It doesn't really matter at this point. Yeah. Uh, Alright, I don't know. So you're first to go. Yeah, can I see this guy? Uh, let's see here. Let's see what the, this says. Um, hmm. uh, yes, you can see him. I would say that he has a plus two to his sort of defenses because of cover. Mm. Um. Uh, I guess I'll move in then. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Go back to that, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then Acid Orb. Or Dragon Frost. Okay. Try not to use encounter powers if you can help it. We want to take as yeah. few rests as possible. Yeah. Yes. We there should. Go. Oh. Okay. That works. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The poor, the poor catcher dies in a freezing cold. Uh, yeah. Ervin, you couldn't <laughs> give me like a five foot movement, could you? Like a shift me one. <laughs> well, from, from here, no, I can't. Because uh, then I could just move up and hack in here or whatever. Yeah, I could have flown you in and then. No, you no, we want to. You. Actually, you're, you're fine. Nah. You can move up to that. You can move up to that goblin. We're only five. five foot he moves, he so. wanted to try to get both goblins, but uh, it should be fine since they're both since they're all minions. It should be fine. Yeah, yeah. I'll just but, I'll uh, do the melee. We've got each one turn, so. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I don't think we need much strategy for this fight. No, the there might be more coming. Erwin, I guess we'll move to yeah. here. Uh -huh. No, I'll, so I'll let you take care there. of that. I'm no, I can I could... charge this guy, so... Oh, it doesn't matter either way, I guess. So. I guess I'll move... Okay, how much... Is there like a limit on how far I have to move to start the charge? Uh, no. no. Okay, so I can just... I can stop my move there and then do the charge there. Yes. But you're limited to your melee basic attack unless you've got a sparrow that allows you to do a charge instead. Unfortunately. Uh, surprise round, so... Mm hmm so you must advantage. move at least two squares from your starting position, and you must move directly to the nearest square from which you can attack the enemy. Yep. Oh, that's not too bad, then. So, uh, moving over difficult terrain costs extra squares of movement as normal, so you can charge over difficult terrain in 4E. It just costs you this, the extra Indeed. movement. Mm. 
Foghorn. Somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Apparently, there's a ship. That is not Foghorn. So that everyone strikes down on the goblin. The goblin releases a Foghorn. <laughs> He's calling his friends, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy because there was a massive lorry that just threw his horn outside my window. <laughs> <laughs> oh. and everyone will end his turn with staring at the goblins. Oh, the goblin seems very surprised. What? Uh, dun 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 dun. <laughs> oh, you're a big one. Uh, tide of iron plus one, and I get to throw him back two tiles if this hits and he survives somehow. <laughs> I don't think that's possible. <laughs> I will throw him back over there and I'll take his tile. Alright. Yeah. See here. It's a move action for me to go there. You know, Salor doesn't exactly know what the hell's in there, so he's got to survey the scene. Uh, we'll go ahead and to, uh, we'll clear to a distance of... I'm not going to attack someone. I'll move... Here, you know, the disc is like, all right, come back, <laughs> huggles, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to begin the process of using my nature skill uh, for the handle animal purposes in an attempt to calm down the horse. Okay. Which, according to the book, is like some sort of skill challenge, multiple skill checks required. Yep. So uh, I'll start that whenever, perhaps out of combat. Let Alvin shoot the damn thing first, the, the goblin. Uh, the poor goblin is surprised. Alvin. Hmm. Alvin walks up and shoots him. Uh, and yes, finally. I was somewhat scared that I would miss for some reason. <laughs> the uh, the impenetrable defenses of the goblin cutter. <laughs> <laughs> and Thank upon you. seeing the horse, he ends his turn. All right. And um, that ends uh, ends combat. Yay! One encounter. Maybe get we're halfway to an ability <laughs> point. <laughs> Action point. Everyone, back up. That's the one. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. The the horse is very agitated and it's it's uh, whinnying. It's uh, on its uh, hind legs and kicking about and seems to be quite hurt. Actually, uh, it's um, it it looks at the rest of the party with sort of desperation in its horse eyes. Uh. Roldar will give Soloro healing potions. Back up. Back up. <laughs> <laughs> give okay. healing potions okay. to the horse. Soloro <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> displays, you know, his empty gloved hands. All right. Easy. Easy. Uh, he stomps at the different goblin corpses who crush and crunch about and they fly all over the place. And he snorts and, and looks about again and looks quite agitated at Salora. Uh, that would be the warhorse that the merchant talked about, I, I would think. Perhaps, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, Salora displays his empty hands and makes no attempt to walk towards the horse. All right. The uh, the horse seems to sort of slowly calm down a bit. It's still very frightened. Um, and as I said, it's still quite hurt, and it sort of takes a uh, takes a half step back from Salora as it snorts again, and looks at the rest of the party, but it still sort of right. scrapes its hoofs on the ground. Right. So, Salora will uh, fish into his robes and uh, pull out a series of uh, carrots and other treats that he feeds Heinrich. You know, put them in his hand and uh, very slowly inch forward, hand extended. It's all right. It's okay. You know saying uh, calming, soothing words and platonics. And if the horse kicks him, he's not going to be upset about that. <laughs> the right. horse nearly died. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can roll a nature check, actually. Okay. There we go. Wow. Uh, yeah, your, your, you know, your hours spent talking to Heinrich uh, has given you a uh, prodigious insight into the minds of horses. Uh, and as such, you use, as you say, soothing talk and non-threatening body languages to sort of slowly, slowly uh, calm him down. And he seems to allow you to approach without sort of kicking at you. Okay. Uh, Solora is going to uh, 
you know, uh, slowly uh, stroke the horse's head while uh, extending the food forward and uh, sort of give a gazing glance, uh, seeing how heavily injured the uh, horse is. Call back. Uh, Ervin, do you have any bandages on you? I... I seem to have misplaced my cloth. Uh, yes, Ervin has some cloth. Uh, going to have to uh, dress the horse up. Make sure you don't approach with the sword. Ervin will go ahead... Like, place the sword that's leaning against the wall, I guess. Alright. It'll show I'm disarmed and, like, slowly move over here with the cloth in my hand. And it's Laura. So, yeah. Actually, you would probably be uh, better at this than I would. Uh, let's begin the process of uh, dressing uh, this horse's wounds, Erevan. Erevan just nods. And, uh, what, uh,. What actually I will end up doing is, uh, well, I suppose there's not an eight another for uh, skill checks, is there? It turns out that's like a bonus to the attack rolls. Uh, let's see here. That's a good question, actually. Um, I think it works skill rolls. See. I think it works for skill rolls. See, I, I checked like the the combat section. I didn't know whether it's actually uh, it's cooperation. Your it's allies can help you make a skill check by making a check themselves. Each ally who gets a result of 10 or higher gives you a plus 2 bonus. So I'll go ahead and do my heal check for a plus 2 bonus to yours. Alright. Alright! You get a plus 2 <laughs> bonus! Roll it exactly! <laughs> okay, so I have plus 9 to this. Alright. Aha! Heal check of 12. This might be an extended action for... <laughs> um... 